Hi, and welcome back. So let's take a look at my biological age four years after starting my NML experiment using results from a blood test that was taken in May of 2023. Let's take a look at the supplements I was taking when I had this blood test done. Nicotinamide mononucleotide, 1.5 grams a day. Trans resveratrol, 1.5 grams a day, but only on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. TMG, trimethylglycine, 1.5 grams a day. Metformin, remember I was up to 1,000 milligrams, so one gram per day. Vitamin D3, 5,000 international units a day, 10,000 on Sunday and Wednesday. Vitamin K2, 120 micrograms, and that's the MK7 version. Magnesium, 250 milligrams, L3 and 8 version. High molecular weight hyaluronic acid, 200 milligrams per day. Pisidin, 2.4 grams a day, first, second and third of each month. Quercetin, 2.4 grams a day, first, second and third of each month. And in the link of my supplements below, there's a link to a video that explains why I only take it on the first, second and third of each day. Aspirin, 81 milligrams a day. Cert6 activator, 800 milligrams a day. And DIM, 600 milligrams a day. Now I take all of these supplements first thing in the morning around 6, 6.30, apart from DIM, which I take at 6 in the morning, 200 milligrams, 200 midday, and then 200 at about 8 or 9 o'clock at night when I take my metformin. So the last time I used longevityadvantage.com, and there's a link in the description below to this online calculator, was in December of 2022. If you scroll to the bottom, you can see here your age needs to be entered, but also nine markers from your blood test. Very easy to use indeed. So the last time I used this was December 2022. Then it returned the following results. Chronological age, 58. Phenotypic age, 50.38. And I'll put up what phenotypic age is. Phenotypic versus my chronological, minus 6.2 years. So just over seven and a half years younger. My DNA methylation age was 49.70. My DNA methylation versus my chronological was minus 8.30. So a reduction in age of just over eight years. However, my latest results from May of 2023, not so good. Chronological age, 59. I just had my birthday. Phenotypic age, 59.28. So my phenotypic versus my chronological, plus 0 0.28. My DNA methylation age, 58.20. My DNA methylation versus my chronological, minus 0 0.8. So a reduction in age of just under one year. So I seem to have aged seven years in the last three months. So I'm not too sure what changes in my scores have given me these vastly different results. I compared the two. My creatinine level was considerably up from 1.07 to 1.64. Now the usual reasons for high creatinine is dehydration. So possibly I have this, but not excessive. And I'm, I'm dehydrated much the same as I always was when I was in the UAE. Uh, excessive physical activity. Again, CrossFit twice a week and weights once a week and maybe a, a bicycle ride once a week is not, in my humble opinion, excessive. Increased protein intake. My diet hasn't really changed that much. And it's then and or excessive creatine supplementation. Now, I, I do take creatine occasionally. I might do one month on, two months off or, or two on and then one off. Um, so this could be the reason. So I'm going to stop taking creatine altogether to see if it makes a difference. Obviously, this was quite disturbing this seven year loss of uh, biological age. So I did some investigation. The, the foods that give us you, gives you the highest protein intake is red meat, which is what I was eating, and also salmon, which is also what I was eating. So, and then looking at how much you eat and how much creatine you get in that food, I was getting the five grams a day, which is recommended through my, um, my steak and my salmon intake. If I was then taking another five grams of creatine powder on top of that, I was probably overdosing. Uh, the other one was my CRP. That made quite a big difference. It went from 0 0.72 to 0 0.32. But again, the lower the number, the better. The reference range is anything less than 3.0 milligrams per litre. Um, all the other markers were very similar. So I'm thinking it has to be my creatinine levels. Uh, let me know what you think. So no more creatine for me. Um, the other thing is now I'm in the Philippines. Steak and salmon uh, are not as available as they were in the Middle East. So I'm eating more chicken. Uh, there's fish here, but I don't eat too much fish. So it's it's eggs and chicken, um, beef, but it's not a big steak. It's more like a, a beef stew kind of um, kind of affair. So that's what I'm thinking 
caused the change, let me know what you think in the comments of the YouTube video. That would be very much appreciated. So moving on, let's take a look at biologicalage.com. Um, if you can't get a blood test, this is a way of answering a questionnaire to see whether or not um, your biological age is more or less than it should be. You can see, I'll go through a couple of questions. You can see it just asks you now, I'm going to click here this time because that's where I was when I had blood test taken. Next time it'll be this area. Um, you answer these questions and then it gives you a score at the end. Um, one that I find is quite difficult to answer is this one. How many units of alcohol do you consume per day? Well, I only drink at the weekend and then it's maybe one or two drinks on one or two nights. I can't say one a day because it's actually one or two a week. So what I do is I click on one drink per day before I then continue on with the questionnaire. Um, since I started to use this site, it's been updated far, far more, asking a lot more questions about lifestyle factors, which is great. In December 2022, when I was 58 and eight months, it said here that I was 48, so nine years younger. Nice, but not as accurate as the blood test one, I don't think. This time I took the test on the 26th of May 2023, when I was 59 and one month, and it reads 49 years of age. So I'm around 10 years younger. Again, great, but I don't think that's too accurate. Um, although it is good if you can't get blood test results and use the other Longevity Advantage site. So I'm three months older than the last time my biological age has increased by one year. This is obviously not as accurate as the algorithm. And you can see at the bottom there, it gives a couple of very generic statements, some of which can be questioned now. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I agree. But my breakfast is at noon as I intermittent fast 16 8, and I'm doing OMAD three days a week. I think they mean when you get up. That's a marketing gimmick from cereal companies. So very easy to ignore. Uh, eat at least five servings of fruit and vegetables per day. That's again been questioned by many people. Highly refined foods and deep fat foods are sometimes a treat, are sometimes a treat and should not be eaten and should not be eaten all the time, but only occasionally. Agree 100%. And it says do push ups every day. And again, that's not really what I would call bad advice. So, in summary, at the time of my test, I was 59 years and one month. Uh, longevity advantage put me my death my DNA methylation age my biological age at 58 years 0 0.20 and the less accurate biologicalage.com had me at 49 years I think we can all agree that the DNA test that's carried out using the Horvath clock type which is using your blood um, samples is far more accurate than uh, the questionnaire however I would avoid companies like epiage.com who test against less than 20 biological markers and look out for companies that test against maybe hundreds of thousands of markers for a far more accurate estimate of your biological age, but also far more cost effective. Now I'm in the Philippines, I shall be investigating the options of blood or saliva tests and sending them abroad for analysis. If you watch my previous videos, you'll know that the UAE stopped allowing people to send bodily fluids out through the post during COVID and they still hadn't changed their rules when I left. Hopefully I'll find somewhere here in the Philippines where I can do that, do the Horvath clock type test, send it abroad and get a far more accurate look at what my biological age is. So let's take a look at my overall progress. You can see here I've got the, the data in the columns and this has produced a graph. You can see my chronological age, my birthdays is the blue line and that will obviously gradually go up as I get older. And you can see in red my DNA methylation age and you can see here a huge jump from the last time as it goes up towards my chronological age. Not really what I wanted to see. Um, and I really do need to find out why this has happened. Uh, do I see this as a negative? Of course, but I do believe it's something that I can change and something I will chat to a doctor about. I do really think it is the creatine supplementation, but time will tell. My next blood test is in August of this year, uh, and I'll use those results to, to do another test in September. So three months is probably a long time to wait. And this is something I did find quite concerning. So out of curiosity, what I did was re-entered my latest blood test results. But I used the creatinine levels from the test before that, which showed an eight year drop of age. You can see here that now my chronology, chronological age was 59. My phenotypic age has dropped right down to 53.97. And my phenotypic versus my chronological is minus 5.3. My DNA methylation age has gone down to 53. And my DNA versus my chronological is now 
5.85. So we call it around six years. Where it was before I dropped down to eight, it's now down to six. So I've increased by two years. Um, the revised progress chart, if you look at that now using these results, looks a lot more healthy. You can see the red line, although it has gone up, hasn't gone up anywhere near as much as it did when I used the, um, the, the creatinine from my last test. Now, obviously, this was just to um, this was just to give me a little bit of peace of mind to make sure it is the creat the creatine um, this, or the creatinine that's caused this, and it's a good idea to stop the creatine for a while. This chart looks good, but I'm not going to use this in my collective data. So this is this is something that I've made up because I put in results that weren't relevant to this particular blood test. This is the graph that I will use from now on. Hopefully. When I take my blood test in another three months with no creatine supplementation at all, unless salmon and steak, uh, it's going to show the red line going down, hopefully five, if not back down to minus eight years. Let me know what you think about um, this second test and whether or not I'm right in thinking it's probably the, the creatine I was taking on top of the steak and on top of the salmon, which are both high in creatine just themselves. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Uh, if you've had a blood test done lately, go on to Longevity Advantage, enter your scores and find out what your biological age is. If you haven't, then look at biologicalage.com. Not as accurate, but be honest with the questions uh, and you'll get a good reflection of what your biological age probably is. Um, I think the retest was very telling uh, in regard to my creatine levels. And if you take creatine as a supplement, but you also eat creatine rich foods as I did beef and salmon you may well be like me overdosing to the instant gratification freaks who once the video started skipped all the way forward to try and find my biological age because of what was on the thumbnail or on the title uh, and are now saying what retest go back and watch all of the video again well that's it for today let me know in the comment section of the YouTube video exactly what you think about the biological age do you think I was right in doing a slight retest with the, the creatinine levels from my last blood test. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.